All right, here we are for the next 10 questions, 61 through 70. Number 61, which of the following is not part of the circle of Willis? A, vertebral artery. B, posterior cerebral artery. C, anterior cerebral artery. Or D, anterior communicating artery. The answer is A, vertebral artery. The vertebral arteries are, are part of the basilar artery. Which vessel is the arrow pointing to? A. Arcuate. B. Interlobar. C. Interlobular. Or D. Segmental. The answer is D. Segmental. Number 63. Which structure is the arrow pointing to in this sagittal neck image? A. Thyroid. B. Submandibular gland. C. Thymus. Or D. Esophagus. The answer is... D. Esophagus. So here you got the sternocleidomastoid, thyroid gland, thymus, and the esophagus posterior to the thyroid. Number 64. While scanning an infant, the pylorus measures 4 millimeters thick and 16 millimeters long. After a short period passed, the pylorus opened up and measured 1 millimeter thick and 8 millimeters long. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Pyloric stenosis. B. Reflux. C. Pylorospasm. D. Duodenitis. The answer is... C, pylorospasm. Here you can see the pylorus open, and in real time you'll see food passing from the pylorus into the duodenum, and the wall thickening will be less than 3 millimeters. Number 65. You scan an infant for macrocephaly, and you see this in one of the ventricles. What is the most likely diagnosis? A, choroid plexus cyst. B, hemangioma. C, choroid plexus papilloma or D, ventriculitis. The answer is C, choriplexus papilloma. Now, in a premature infant, you can have a large hemorrhage covering the, the ventricle like this, but usually the, the hemorrhage would be layering in the dependent portions. Of the, of the occipital horn of the lateral ventricle, whereas you can see this appears to be more of a mass. You can put color Doppler to uh, differentiate the two. Number 66, rare pediatric liver tumor that arises from periportal connective tissue. A, hemangioendothelioma. B, hepatocellular carcinoma. C, hepatoblastoma. Or D, mesenchymal hamartoma. The answer is D, mesenchymal hamartoma. Number 67, an ovoid complex mass often with calcification at the junction of the dermis and subcutaneous fat is most likely A, A, lymph node, B, pilometricoma, C, helicobacter pylori, or D, teratoma. The answer is B. Pilometricoma. Number 68. A cystic structure in... A cystic structure in a male posterior to the bladder most likely represents A. Ovarian cyst B. Prostate mass C. Dilated ureter or D. Appendix mucosal. So off the bat, you can cross off ovarian cyst because it's a male. A prostate mass would be not anechoic and more midline. An appendix mucal seal would be a dilated, dilated fluid filled appendix, but on the right side. This is on the left side of the abdomen. So this most likely represents A, C, dilated ureter. And here you can see the hydronephrosis and the torturous ureter going down into the bladder. 69. 
While scanning a patient for appendicitis, you see the cystic structure in the, abdom ab in the abdomen with gut signature. What diagnosis most likely fits this case? A. Ovarian cyst B. Duplication cyst C. Renal duplication or D. Pancreatic mass So the answer is B. Enteric duplication cyst Number 70. You scan a 15-year-old female with postprandial epigastric pain. On ultrasound, you see a gallstone. On ultrasound, you see gallstones, and the gallbladder wall measures 5 millimeters with pericholecystic fluid. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Pancreatitis. B. Cholelithiasis. C. Calculus cholecystitis. Or D. A. Calculus cholecystitis. So usually when you have two answers that are very similar or complete opposites, it's typically going to be one of those answers. That's a rule I sometimes go with. I mean, this is not a 100% thing. I did a question where there's two questions that are similar to each other and I didn't even use any as the answer. So you have gallstones, gallbladder wall thickening, pericholecystic fluid, and abdominal pain. So most likely the answer is C, calculus cholecystitis. So inflammation of the gallbladder with gallstones. All right, stay tuned for the next 10 questions.